Percents, fractions, and decimals are interchangeable values. You can express the exact same amount in various ways. Oftentimes, we might start with, a being, with it being based off of 100, which is where our percent and our base tens come from. So the task that you were given, it showed you a percent grid with 100 boxes and a certain number of them filled in. And then you are supposed to express the value that they give in three other ways to basically we'll be completing this chart. So the first value that they give us is one fourth. Now we have two ways of figuring out what that is as either a percent uh, or actually we'd find it as a decimal or a base 10. Decimals can then get converted into percents, but that's kind of the, the middleman. So our option is figuring out, well, how does four turn into 100? Because um, it's going to be based off units of 100 making up the whole. So if you took four and you multiplied it by 25, you'd have 100 pieces. So then if you had multiplied the top value by that same amount, one times 25 is 25. So for the base 10, that, that would give you 25 out of 100 pieces being filled in. If you had counted the number of dots on your grid, you would have seen that 25 of the 100 were colored in. So that was your base 10 fraction. Now we could then convert this into a decimal. Two ways to do that are if you have 25 out of 100, you have 25 hundredths, which is expressed as point two five. So if you thought of it as one dollar and you only have 0.25 or 25 cents out of a dollar, you have 25 cents. Then to convert a decimal to a percent, all you need to do is move the decimal place two locations to the left. Uh, I'm sorry, to the right. So if the decimal is up front, I move it two places to the right, which would then put the decimal at the end and leave 25 as a whole number and a percent behind it. So you needed to complete this pattern on all of the different values that you were given. So one fifth, I could put this in a calculator and say one divided by five, which would give you 0.2. So 0.2 as a decimal. If you had counted the number of spaces, you would have seen that there were 20 blocks out of 100. So as a base 10, it was 20 one hundredths. You could have also said, well, 5 times what gets me 100? 20 does. So 1 times 20 gives me 20. Then converting the decimal to a percent, I still move the decimal two places to the right. So instead of being 0.2, it would be 20 and tag the percent onto the end of it. Now we have 13%. That, when looking at the grid, it showed that 13 out of 100 blocks were filled in. Now the common, uh, the common fraction would have been this value reduced. Well, there's no number, there's no factor that can evenly divide out of 13 and divide out of 100. So it is, as common or simplified as it gets. Then converting a percent to a decimal, or I have 13 cents out of a dollar, I have 0.13. But to convert a percent to a decimal, I just, if 13 is a whole number, I have the decimal at the end and I move it to the left two places and drop the percentage sign in the end, which gets you 0.13. 48, that is saying 48% means 48% out of 100 as far as percent. So you have the whole amount, you have 100%. So I have 48 out of 100. Now looking at that, I have a common factor that I can divide out of both of those. So I know that 4 divides out of 48 12 times. And 4 divides out of 100 25 times. Then I look at that, can I get that any smaller? No. You could have used a 2 to reduce 48 and 100, which would have cut it into half. Then you would have had 24 fiftieths. But 24 fiftieths could also be divided by 2 to cut that in half. So that's why we got the 12 25ths. 
Then 48 as a decimal, or 0.48, 48% is a decimal, just 0.48. 2%, that is saying 2 out of 100. 2 out of 100. Looking at 2 and 100, they have a common factor of 2, that when I divide that out, I'm left with 1 50th. Now this is the part that people sometimes get confused about. This is 2%. I have to move the decimal places, the decimal two places, to the left. So I go one, two. That leaves me an empty space that has to be filled with a zero. If I have two, two out of a hundred as far as pennies go, that means I only have two cents. I do not have 0 0.2. 0 0.2 means 20 out of 100. I only have two out of 100. So the two has to be bumped back a space. 75 percent is 75 out of 100. Both 75 and 100 have a common factor of 25 that I can evenly divide out. So it's more commonly known as 3 fourths and 0.75 as a decimal. Lastly, this one is a little bit more confusing. Um, you can use your calculator. Take 1 divided by 8. You will see 0.125 on your calculator. If you had counted the grid spaces, you would have seen that 12 and a half of the 100 were filled in. So it was 12.5 one hundredths, or 12 and a half one hundredths. Then, as a decimal, it is, well, as I said on the calculator, 0.125. Okay, and then as a percentage, when we convert a decimal to a percentage, we move the decimal over two places to the right, which leaves 12 in front of the decimal and a 5 after it, so it is 12.5%.